Hi everyone, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, well, there's a reason to that. Um, recently, my kitty cat, Suki, fell sick uh, for actually a couple weeks. Um, I didn't really know what was wrong with her uh, for a while. So I really thought it was like a change in food because I did change up her um, brand of food that she ate. And um, I read that cats have sensitive stomachs. Um, but after like three weeks, I'm like, okay, there's something off here because she should have like adapted to this. And um, I thought maybe it was like something in the food, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she just kept having like diarrhea um, every night. So after she uses the litter box, you know, there's like, uh, yellow mushy poo um, stuck around her anus area in her fur so I would have to follow her around and uh, cling up wipe off the, the poop and it was so tiring but um, you know I didn't want her to get it everywhere actually one time um, her poop got on the floor luckily on the tile floor in the kitchen like right there and I accidentally stepped on it and didn't realize until like a few minutes later when I dragged the poop around the carpet. So then uh, I saw a trial of poop and I had to like scrub it off the floor, but it's good now. Um, but yeah, it was just really stressful um, the past few weeks. I didn't know what was going on with her. So um, one night I came home and I was uh, just combing her or something and I checked her butt uh, like I do um, because uh, you have to when your cat has diarrhea um, and saw this like grain like uh, creamy yellowish um, worm um, I thought it was a piece of rice because I did feed her rice as well but um, I kind of squished it and it was soft so rice is supposed to be hard um, especially after like let out for a while so no, it was it was soft and uh, slimy-ish. So I researched online and I'm like, what the heck is this? Um, and I realized that, oh, she has tapeworms. That's what's been causing the diarrhea all this time um, because tapeworms suck out all the nutrients from the cat's stomach. Um, so she was also losing weight, um, lost appetite. Um, not as playful as she used to be so um kind of pieced all the puzzles together as to why she was feeling sick and uh, having diarrhea because of all the tapeworms so i went out and um got a bunch of stuff um like well so i got a flea collar um i think it's the hearts ultra guard brand and what else did i get um forgot what the other thing was but I got a flea collar and I put it on her but then I read more about that and how it has uh, toxic chemicals um, that are bad for the cat and humans so I took that off after two days um, and she kept scratching her neck and stuff so um, yeah so no more of that and oh the other thing I got was um, something like a natural uh, flea spray uh, for the house and I sprayed some of it. It smelled like peppermint oil, like everywhere. But then um, I didn't really know what was completely in the spray because it only lists like two ingredients and everything else was inert. So um, it could also be toxic. I don't know, even though it says natural. Um, so I stopped using that and I just aired out the rooms. And I mean, luckily it did something. Um, hopefully it did something. Um, since I used it, you know, on the carpets and stuff, so. Anyway, I just took Suki a bath um, to wash out the, uh, the flea collar chemicals, you know, leftover residue. Um, and just to make sure, you know, if she did have fleas, because tapeworms are, like, transmitted most commonly by fleas or eating a flea-infested rodent. I don't know what happened out there, but when I let her out, like, a few times, she came back and I didn't realize she was infected with stuff. So um, yeah, no more of that. So she's gonna be indoors only from now on. 
Um, but yeah, I took her a bath with um, Dr. Broner's uh, hemp and peppermint oil shampoo. So um, yeah, I just read that peppermint oil is supposed to um, be like a natural flea preventative killing solution. So um, since then, she's a lot better. Um, no more diarrhea. So uh, after today, I don't think I'll have to check her butt anymore. I mean, I might just, you know, once in a while, just in case, but um, yeah, her poop doesn't stink like crazy anymore. Uh, her appetite is back. Um, I'm actually feeding her wet food right now, uh, mixed, mixed of wet food and dry food. So I feed her wet food in the morning and then at night I um, switch to dry food and eventually once um, the wet food is done I'll just feed her dry food so she's eating a lot better she's very playful now a lot more than um, than I expected because she's uh, really high energy um, and she jumps everywhere so um, she is also just very vocal um, She's my morning alarm. Um, what else? Yeah, she's uh, feeling a lot better. Uh, no more poopy butts. Sorry guys, I accidentally ended my video too soon. I was just trying to show you guys how Suki's feeling much better now. Um, she was stalking birds outside. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you. Hey Suki. She's talking to her birdie friends right now. Suki. Oh. Hi, Suki. All right, well, I'll let her be. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Um, I tried to keep you guys updated on uh, Suki's health status and uh, if uh, she's still doing well in like the next week. I'm pretty sure she, she will. It's like the fifth day since um, I gave her, oh, forgot to show you, this deworming medicine. Um, hold on. It's called Bayer Tapeworm Dewormer. Uh, it contains this ingredient called Praziquantel, and it's really effective um, for like el eliminating tapeworms. Um, it's also vet recommended, I read. And um, it's about like 14, 15 bucks. I got it from PetSmart. It's, it was really hard to find actually. Um, everywhere was out, but it contains three tablets. Um, you just feed one um, to your cat depending on the weight. So Suki only needed one because uh, she's about like nine, 10 pounds. Um, and then, you know, 30 days later, uh, if she's all good, um, I suggest feeding another one just in case to make sure it's out of her system. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't see anything uh, and this medicine works, usually it takes full effect in two to three days um, for her to fully flush out the worms and uh, then changing out her litter box too. So um, yeah, it pretty much worked like the third day. Um, Although a common side effect is diarrhea, so I had to deal with that again. Um, but after like the third day, especially the fourth day, um, diarrhea subsided. She was uh, feeling a lot better and uh, yeah, major changes. So uh, that is what you want to get if your cat has tapeworms. Um, it, I think it only works on tapeworms. So you got to make sure you know what kind of worm you're dealing with because there are other medicines that deal with certain other kind of worms so um i did my research and uh luckily luckily um it was tapeworms um because i heavily you know figured uh i gotta make sure it's the right kind because this medicine is not cheap either and uh yeah i just wanted it to end so yeah it's all good now so uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later peace